This is one I thought I would never do, but it's time to try a lot of Cheesecake Factory menu items. Uh, I was never gonna do this one, but then I realized, oh, they actually do deliver. So, it is technically feasible. I don't know how many I'm gonna do, because it's just, there's so many items on the menu, but we'll just see. It's gonna be a lot. I'm gonna try, my goal for this will be to do more individual items than I've done in any other video before but I, I can't do all of them because they'd just be insane. First off, this is what I actually ordered. Uh, this is the fettuccine Alfredo chicken. Wow. Fettuccine Alfredo. Looks extremely mediocre. Looks uh, just like they make in looks Italia. Like, looks like I made it at home. Yeah. You know, it's hard to fuck up a fettuccine Alfredo, but they did. The chicken is completely bland. The <laughs> noodles are pretty bland too. I don't know, this is not something that should be that hard. I'm gonna say it's a uh, C, C rank. Damn. Okay. Anne Marie was kind enough to let me try a couple bites of her, watch. What the hell is this? Spicy tuna? Uh, it's either spicy tuna, I think that's stuffed mushrooms. This looks like too spicy tuna. I can't tell, I can't see it from here. That's like oh yeah, 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 that's the spicy tuna. You can just have like a bite or one or whatever. Weird. The tuna is whatever, Um, kind of nothing. Not bad though, it's just kind of like sweet, gingery. The rice is I think better than the topping. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, that's a good sign, right? C plus, it's, it's fine. A little too much ginger for my taste. I think the best part is the rice texture. It's actually quite nice. It's like a nice, soft, crispy shell with a soft rice underneath. Uh, the topping is, uh, it's lacking. Okay. You also got stuff. Oh, those are so sad looking. What the fuck is this? It's supposed to be a stuffed mushroom. Fine. It's probably the best tasting thing <laughs> so far. Because it's just a mushroom. It's just a mushroom with, like, I guess there's like cheese in there or something. Yeah. Um, it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna say a low B minus. It's it's a stuffed mushroom. Is this an entree item or is it a side? I guess, I don't know. This was an actual appetizer? Six little sad mushroom I, balls? Yeah, it looked better in the picture. Wow. And then each time I order, I have to try a different cheesecake. This is probably gonna be the best. Yeah, part. hopefully like the cheesecakes. I are hope the cheesecake at cheesecake. What this kind is you get? Original. You know, you gotta start with the classic. Got it. So. It tastes good, but the texture of the crust is, well, it's okay, I guess. It's not like crispy like you like probably. Although cheesecake, I feel like usually isn't that crisp. Well, some no, some some of them have a really great graham cracker crust. Yeah, taste wise, it's good. It's just like you know tangy and then kind of like a vanilla y. B, it's fun. It just tastes like cheesecake. It would be, it would excel with a better crust. Um, I'm hoping some of the other ones will impress me more. This is spicy irrigate. Jesus. I, oh no. Oh god, Spicy oh god. Rigatoni vodka. Where's the sauce? Wow. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually good. Um, it looks so mediocre. It looks really Don't mediocre. Don't judge a book by its cover. But the flavor is actually there. It's there, there's flavor. That's the high standard. <laughs> I'm gonna say <clears throat> B plus. Ooh. It's good. It's, it's pretty good. Next up is street corn. They described it as corn ribs. As you can see, they've cut the corn into just how I love to eat street these corn. Stupid <laughs> ribs. Sorry to fuck it up. It's good. It's good. Do I need them in these stupid ribs? <laughs> no. You know, like a beet. These we used to love back when we were in like what college students. Yeah, when this was our date location. This is when we went and got a fancy date. We get the, the fried, fried mac, mac and cheese, cheese balls. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Except they used to be bigger. These are very small, I feel like. 
You really need the sauce though. They're a little bland without, like if I had dipped this. Oh, pretty good. It's got a nice fried crunchy texture. Mac and cheese is pretty good. The sauce really helps though. Without the sauce, this would be lower. This is also like a solid B. But actually, I like the pasta best of the uh, items so far. Wow. And then, this is the Oreo cheesecake. It's called something stupid. Oreo dreamy Oreo something, I don't know. But... Okay. Taste-wise, it's good though. It's got like a, almost like a chocolate pudding top. Nice Oreo chocolate notes everywhere. I just wish there was more crunch on this bitch. I'll say A minus. I just wish there'd be some kind of crust on any of these, but the flavors are good. Um, they forgot the cheesecake for this order, which is really fucking annoying for me, but that's fine. Um, let's try the crispy Brussels sprouts. Okay. Cause they're like a, kind of like a sweet sauce that helps. And the bacon is a welcome addition, but the other, the pieces without it are kind of a little bland. B. I think this is the cacio e pepe, which I'm sure is gonna be great <coughs> because you know even even non shitty restaurants can fuck up cacio e pepe. I like spinach and peppers, but they add nothing to this, and they're not even that flavorful. This is bland, 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 fucking bland. C minus. It's just. So bland, and the noodles might as well be like just store bought. Fucking. This is pasta da Vinci. No idea what that is. But we'll find <laughs> out. Looks like it's got some penne. So, what is this? Chicken? Yeah. And mushrooms? I think so, yep. It's marginally better than that, but not much. We're very afraid of flavor, apparently, at the Cheesecake Factory. And afraid of giving me the cake I ordered as well. <laughs> so, that's fun. What you got there? I have seven slices <laughs> of cheesecake. Uh, it is my birthday today. Wow, happy birthday. Uh, thank you. And I decided as a gift to myself, I would order a bunch of cheesecake so I don't have to order food with them because the food is terrible uh, and to get further on this list. And also, it's my birthday, so thematic cake. It's gonna be kind of interesting to try to figure out which one is which. I mean, okay, let's just, this one is clearly the celebration cake. <laughs> you know, I thought it was fitting. Um, it looks like it has Strawberry, vanilla, chocolate layers, and I don't like frosting. I don't know. Sprinkles, I guess. Also, confetti cake. How is this a cheesecake at this point? It's pretty good. The frost, this is like buttercream frosting. That helps a lot, actually. There's no crust on this one at all. Pretty much, it's just cake. But then it kind of just tastes like a pretty tasty cake with like a cream cheese element to it. I'll be honest, could I taste the difference of the layers? No. B plus, I think it actually tastes pretty good. White chocolate raspberry, it looks like. Oh, that used to be my favorite one. Oh yeah, back in the day. Do you remember? I used to always get that one. Not really a cheesecake. I'm gonna say B, I think it's fine. I need water, because this is so sweet. This is the s'mores one. So there's like a, you can see there's like a marshmallow, f like cream all over, oh, ooh. And graham crackers. I hope those graham crackers are crunchy at all. They are. Okay. So this is pretty good. This might be one of the best ones so far. Let's try the crush on its own. Nothing. However, this acts like a crust. Yes, that's why so, I was like, I hope it's... It's actually good. It works, the marshmallow cream is really nice. This is really thick chocolatey, gooey chocolate. It really works well with the crunch. If there was no crunch, this would suck. But with the crunch of the graham cracker and the gooiness of the chocolate and the marshmallow, it comes together actually really well. A minus. I think it's, I think it's, it's actually a tasty dessert. This looks like coconut cream. Mm, maybe not. There's like a weird layer on the bottom. <laughs> oh no, it's coconut cream. <laughs> This one, what helps is the bottom, it's not the crust, it, there's like almost like a coconut chewy layer. Interesting. So it's like soft, oh, and then I this see. is like a chewy coconut, so it actually has a nice texture. And then minus as well. I think it. I think that texture really helps. This looks like Dolce de Leche, because it looks like it's wet. Maybe not actually. This I don't nice. think so. No, this looks like. That looks like tiramisu or something. Did you no. get a tiramisu one? This is Cinnabon. Oh. It doesn't taste bad, 
but whew, at this point, they're not even cheese, they're not even trying for cheesecake. It's just a cake. So if you approach it as a cake, it's too sweet for me, but it tastes good. It's a beet, but I think if you really like sweet stuff, you would like that. I bet it's salted. That looks like salted. I think this is salted caramel because it tastes like, like a very strong, pronounced caramel flavor. The one with the almonds is the Dolce de Leche, mm -hmm. it looks like. So I was right. Okay, so this is pretty good. Again, not a cheesecake, <laughs> not at all, but there's a nice sort of, I don't know what's in here, but there's like little crunchy bits or something. It's pretty good. I think it's a B, you know, I don't think it's amazing. This one's much softer. This one's much better. The crunch. There's like almonds and like some kind of crunch in here. It's soft as well with the crunch. Very creamy, very satisfying, beatless. I got. Hi, birthday. That's enough cake <laughs> for the rest of my life. Um, <laughs> I'm just not a sweets guy, so this is a lot. But yeah, all right, happy birthday to me. Uh, my friends have kindly allowed me to take a, a bite or two from their items so I can be spared more misery later. This is a really delicious looking Caesar salad. Uh, oh man, that looks so good. It's nothing. Crouton's not bad. C plus for the crouton. The beet avocado, it's, it's clearly slid around a bit. It has the smallest fucking salad I've ever seen. Let me just get a little bit of avocado and a little bit of beet. Okay, that's a giant piece of beet. I, I shouldn't take all your beet. This, the colors in this are truly frightening. Uh, okay, this was fun. A C, I think it's fine. I don't think it's, 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 it's whatever. Loaded baked potato tots. Well, loaded with what, nothing? What is this? Okay. Let's just try one on its own. Okay. It was like a, kind of like a bacony kind of green oniony vibe. These are actually pretty good. These kind of slap. They're not bad. And I'm kind of feeling it. I'll say A minus. I think they're actually pretty good. Honey truffle chicken. Wow, that smells like truffle. What the fuck is this? This must be like honey. It's like the watery ass most honey I've ever. Okay, let me try one more. I'm gonna put it in this. Mysterious oil. <laughs> if you want your chicken to taste like soap, like vague soap, there you go. Potatoes are nothing. Chicken has good crunch. Truffle, I'm not really a big fan of truffle oil. I'm gonna say, C plus for the crunch, but this soap oil, I don't know what the fuck that is. No, thank you. This is the one I picked. What the fuck is this? Four cheese pasta? What the hell is this? Is this ricotta? Where are the cheeses? Four cheese my fucking ass. There's, how can you have four cheeses and it tastes like like a, like the blandest shit you've ever tasted? I don't. C minus caramel apple cheesecake. What are these little balls. The caramel apple is like hard as rock. Okay, let's just. If this is apple, it was apparently fossilized. I don't think there's a single fucking apple on this entire thing. I don't know. I don't care. B minus whatever. So I went home for the holidays. My mom just cooked incredible food the entire time. It was truly a week of just the best food I have eaten ever. And now I'm back home and it's time for Cheesecake Factory. This is Chicken Madeira. This is apparently their most popular item. Okay. By Cheesecake Factory standards, it's edible. Imagine just the saddest, thinnest, Barely flavorful soy sauce, teriyaki soy sauce. C plus? My wife got a skinny-licious Asian chicken salad, which sounds awful. 
It is huge though. It has tortilla strips, rice noodle, crispy rice noodles, or maybe these are wonton things because it's Asian, you know, just like my home country. I didn't know that seasoned water could be a dressing. It's really grim. F, fuck this, no way. Cheeseburger spring rolls, which sound blasphemous. Compared to everything else, these kind of slap. Comes with like a Big Mac sauce. Oh, that's just cheese. Cheese and beef in a fucking, it's not a spring roll, it's a fucking egg roll, like wonton crispy shell. A plus? Fresh strawberry cheesecake. This is apparently their most popular cheesecake. It's just their classic cheesecake with strawberries. Comes with the, you know, classic strawberry, like, in jelly. The strawberry is definitely the best part. The rest just tastes like sugary mush. It's just mush and whipped cream. It's nothing, it's just nothing. So because of the strawberry, I will give it a B minus. I like the strawberry. I don't need anything else. The rest of it's just fucking nothing. So here's the spicy cashew chicken, which, you know, it's like cheap ass Chinese food is good, right? How can they fuck it up? Cashews, some rice, chicken. On the Cheesecake Factory scale, that's pretty decent. The crunch is good. The sauce is a little one note, but it's it's kind of like, just like sweet, but you know, that's about what I expected. B plus. Uh, this is also better than any Panda Express offering, I will say. Tex-Mex egg rolls, which have like chicken, corn, other, just the beans. These are very bland. It's, it, it really is fucking weak as shit. C plus, the key lime, aside from the little chunk of lime on top, I hope there's some actual lime flavor in this. God, that crust is so sad. I'm gonna say B. Steak tacos, they look very floppy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Steak's nice and chewy. And tough, uh, <laughs> but actually it's okay. The sauce is okay. It's kind of like a spicy sweet, kind of guacamole, like a low B minus. Not too bad, honestly. This looks like what? It's either the fried zucchini or the asparagus. I think that's the zucchini. Okay, right, but that's not. I guess you'll find out. Mm -hmm. Definitely needs the ranch by itself. Pretty bland, but all things considered, it's fine. It's just fried zucchini. I wish the breading had a little more flavor. Dip it into ranch and it's actually pretty decent. I'm gonna say B. Avocado egg rolls. Oh. Nice and brown. So, these are very strange. I'm not sure what the point is. It's just avocado with greasy egg roll wrappers. C plus, they're pretty, they're pretty whatever. This is the asparagus. Again, I wish the breading had a little more flavor. I like the zucchini better, but um, this is okay. The sauce is also pretty bland. Hangy mayo or something? I don't know. Oh, interesting. Again, like a B minus. The Louisiana chicken pasta. It's very big, <laughs> but it, it doesn't seem to have much sauce at all. Why? Where's the sauce? Is it just in oil? Like oil and peppers? Uh, C? I'm gonna say C for that. It's just not very good. Vanilla bean cheesecake. Seems to have a little bit of an accident. Uh, here, just get a little bit of, oh, that's very thick. Is it ice cream? Hmm. No, but I think this is one of the first cheesecakes I actually could like, but not because of the crust. This this vanilla bean, this the, the sort of cream, has a ice cream flavor because it tastes like vanilla bean. So it, ha it tastes like ice mm -hmm. cream, even though it's not ice cream. Um, that's pretty good. A minus. I think that's very, very pleasant tasting 
Just wish it was a little better texture wise. It's time for me again to try all my friends food awkwardly as they watch in silence. Uh, they, they got a bunch of sandwiches, which is annoying because I have to cut these off. What the hell is this? Turkey burger, somebody, maybe? I'm just gonna cut off a piece here. It's not really how you ideally eat sandwiches, but it's fine. You know, I don't really like tur turkey burgers that much. It's not for me, but I get that it's a health option. I'm gonna say C plus, I'm gonna C plus Cuban. Uh, I'll just cut off the end here. Not bad. I've had better Cubans, but on the whole, it's pretty good. I'm gonna say B, say B. Someone got a mushroom burger, right? I gotta say, compared to like their chicken or pasta, the sandwiches and burgers are pretty harmless. This is like a, like a B minus. Like, it's not bad. It just tastes like your typical restaurant burger. I got orange chicken. This could either be really decently good or terrible. Um, okay. It actually kinda, it's not, it's not bad. B plus. Uh, it just tastes like cheap ass Chinese food. And that's a pretty good standard for, for uh, TCA Factory. I got these questionable, oh, what were these, chicken taquitos? Um, they are way smaller than I thought they were gonna be. Tastes like bad Chipotle. So I'm gonna say B minus for those. The fresh banana cream cheesecake. Okay. Not bad, it's inoffensive. A lot of this food is inoffensive today, which is good, because usually it's dog shit. So I'm gonna say B. Chicken samosas, these are the smallest things I've ever seen. Hmm. Actually not bad at all. Like they're not amazing, but on the Cheesecake Factory scale, these are pretty fucking tasty. A minus? Buffalo wings, okay. It's a buffalo wing. You know what? A minus. Like, you gave me these, I wouldn't complain. They're just buffalo wings, classic. These are like the sweet corn tamales, right? Yeah. You got these? Very mushy. Okay. So they look like this. Taste wise, it's actually pretty good. It's nice and sweet. I like the avocado. But this is not a fucking tamale. Like, I don't know what white nonsense this is, but it's like a fucking, it's like cornbread mush. I will say, A minus. Fuck, I'm gonna hand them out A minuses. I'm, again, I'm waiting for the stinker. I'm waiting for the one that's gonna be bad. Dynamite shrimp. What the fuck? I'm the smallest limp dick shrimp I've ever seen in my life. Okay, what the fuck is shriveled, shriveled penis little fucking, okay. This is, oh. Oh, so soggy. Oh my God. This, oh, that's wretched. And the tails are still on? Why? D, D, no, mm -mm. Chicken Parmigiana pizza style? What the hell is this? This is a nightmare. Very flavorless looking pasta on top. Looks like it says cheese and chicken. Oh my God, okay. Let's try this first. Mmm, dry. Okay, let's try the pasta. Mmm, tastes like nothing. An insult to food, uh, D plus. I'm gonna say D plus for this. This is lemon meringue cheesecake. I'm sure this will be okay. Mmm, I'm gonna say it's a nice B. Here are some really delicious looking chicken pot stickers. <laughs> Comes with some kind of soy sauce. They look rather floppy. Mm. Oh, what? C plus. These are buffalo blasts. That's what I call my shits after I eat this. A buffalo blast. <laughs> um, I don't know what the... You're probably supposed to dip it in the sauce. It's like chicken with, it's like, I think buffalo sauce and cheese inside. 
It's just chicken with like a fried shell with, it's like cheese inside. And then you just dip them. So it's kind of just harmless. Um, I think it's not too dry, which is okay. So I'm gonna say they're like a B. This is the famous factory meatloaf. very TV dinner, but I kind of like it because it's just a meatloaf. It's just like a, a, you know, like one of those cheap, like, yeah, sort of microwave. like Hamburg steak you get at like a, you know, decent, okay Japanese place, right? I kind of like it. A minus. I actually, it's just a cheap ass meatloaf. It's hard to fuck up meatloaf. Two cheesecakes. First one is like a turtle caramel chocolate one. It's got a big old chocolate rose on it. A little like chocolate pieces or whatever, give it some texture, which is nice. Bottom is just like a wet brownie. It's not cheesecake. They're all the same to me. I don't, I'm, I don't care. B, B, it's fine. It's all too sweet for me. Is their original Basque cheesecake, which is supposed to have like a kind of crispy pop. I doubt it's gonna be crispy, but let's see. Nope, not at all. Um, as I said a thousand times, no texture. Cheesecake tastes fine, but it's just bland. The berries help, it's still bland, 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 bland. Cheesecake Factory is bland, I'm losing my mind. You know, I'm gonna give this one a B minus because it's just bland. It's just bland, I don't care. The grand finale. After this, I'll have eaten 60 items and that's it, I can't do anymore. It's the most I've ever done in a video. I think it's a good place to stop. Really any place so far would have been a good place to stop because it's terrible, but all right. These are buffalo chicken strips. This is apparently one of their more, more popular items. I mean, it just, you know, it's just chicken, right? Okay. Blue cheese helps. These are pretty mediocre buffalo strips, but on the Cheesecake Factory scale, I'm gonna say a B, they're inoffensive. They're a little stringy. They're not very spicy. They're kind of one note, just kind of like a little vinegary, but they're edible. Crispy like cheese triangles or something. No, no, they're triangles. They're crispy cheese, fried cheese. Comes with a sauce. We'll try to bite first. Yeah, they're just mozzarella sticks basically. They are kind of hollow. Mm. They're good. It's actually got a nice, nice crispy crunch. The sauce is just marinara, but it, it goes together well. It's rich, it's crispy. I'm pretty impressed with the crust. Hey, those are good. These next ones are like pretzel bites with like a cheese fondue. They're like these pretzel balls on their own, they're whatever, but with the fondue. No, the fondue is very mild. It's like the most generic pretzel you've ever had. There's nothing. It's not particularly soft or chewy or anything. It's just like lumps of bread, B minus. This next one should be interesting. It's the food of my people, Korean fried chicken. Comes with avocado, kimchi, mushrooms. I will say one thing they did get right is the crisp, very shattered crisp of the skin or the breading. The kimchi is just sour. It might be the worst kimchi I've ever had, but it's not awful. But I'm gonna say like a B. I think I'm just impressed that they actually managed to make this like kind of recognizable. You know, that crunch is really nice. And finally in this cheesecake journey, two more cheesecakes. This is the Reese's peanut butter chocolate cake, and it's huge. It's also got like a peanut butter flour on top. This looks immense. It's funny, it all kind of just blends together in a sweet mush. I do taste the peanut butter, and there's some like, you know, peanuts in there, which are nice, but otherwise, man, all of that, peanut butter and chocolate, and it just kind of disappears into generic sweet mush. I'll say B minus. 
The final item. This is a pineapple upside down cheesecake. I'm hoping this will be a little simpler. Maybe have some something stand out about it. It's still way too sweet. But I like the pineapple. It's a little artificial tasting, like a little too sickly sweet, but it adds something. And at least this is kind of simpler. So I can kind of taste a little more of the fruit and the cake instead of like that chocolate monstrosity. I'm gonna say it's a B, but man, I really, considering it's a place called Cheesecake Factory, I really dislike their cheesecakes. And I love cheesecake usually. Usually cheesecake is like my go-to dessert. I love cheesecake. And I just do not like any of them. All right. This has been a long journey. You guys better fucking watch this one. It's the most I've ever done. Most of it was very generic or bad. A few surprises here and there. But overall, I don't think I'll ever eat at Cheesecake Factory ever, ever again. Oh my God.